Here we are at the pool timer. A couple tools you'll need for this job is a multimeter that'll test the voltage going in and out of the timer. And then you also need or recommend an insulated screwdriver just for extra protection for yourself. It's never really good to just guess how much power is going in and out of it. Uh, you could fry equipment pretty easily that way. So the surest way is to test it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the first thing we gotta do is remove the safety screen. The safest way to do that because you're peeling and you, you may touch wires, is go ahead and shut the breaker off that powers the timer so that way if we accidentally rub a wire we're not risking getting shocked so normally there'd be a screw here this this uh, house did not have it so this is going to come off pretty easily we just peel it off like that and then this is the internal uh, at least where the wires go the timer so you got lines one and three which are coming from the breakers and then you have loads two and four which are coming or going out to the equipment so it's it appears to be a 240 set up here but we're going to verify that so the first thing we got to do is go ahead and turn that on to the volt setting now we're going to want to fire up the timer again or i'm sorry the breaker so now we got power going into the timer i always like to put the black probe on the ground so i know that there's nothing going on. I'm not going to get any type of reading uh, that would influence the uh, reading at all. So then I'll go here to load one, which is coming from the breaker. So we got 120 there. We got 120 on the other breaker line. So we got 240 coming into the timer. So now to test how much we got going out, turn this on. Now we test. Load two going out, we got 120 there. And we got 120 going out in load four. So we got 240 going in and 240 going out. Now a small little piece of information. We're in Florida and there's a code violation which I'm gonna fix later because we're gonna be uh, reinstalling this uh, flex conduit here. Uh, a white wire should not have any power to it. Uh, according to the code, it should be neutral. So we're gonna change it out to either red or black and uh, it's also a really important note if you are changing wires to make sure that you're staying with the same type of wire. So in other words, this is all braided here. You don't want to put a solid copper wire because it's against code to have a copper and a braided, I'm sorry, a solid and a braided on the same line just because it makes it more easy for one of them to slip out and cause some issues there. So that's basically how you check the timer and a couple of little pieces of information for you. Have a great day everyone.